Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. As for today, we're going to talk about 5G fixed wireless access. So, what is it fixed wireless access? Um, it is an alternative solution that uh, provides a broadband connection using a radio channel uh, so instead of, in, in many cases, instead of a uh, wired line, instead of uh, uh, Cooper cable or coax cable or optic cable. So, uh, and this is um, actually a quite old story, uh, even from uh, Wi-Fi and uh, Vimax generation and uh, from uh, the current LTE. So, um, it is already used in a real network, uh, but, but uh, there is uh, uh, one important note that uh, the current solutions based on Wi-Fi, Vimax on, or LTE uh, radio isn't, isn't so, um, uh, so good for um, future challenges or even for current challenges not only due to unstable radio condition in channel um, but also due to um, possible impact from mobile traffic to uh, fixed uh, broadband traffic and uh, so um, that's why uh, 5G and R with uh, all of these uh, techniques in radio using beamforming, with uh, network slicing technology, uh, with uh, 5G base station decomposition technology. Uh, so uh, that's why 5G and R uh, fixed wireless access is uh, comes uh, comes in handy and. Uh, may replace in uh, the foreseeable future all current technologies in that uh, particular sphere. So, um, let's look at this uh, basic uh, scheme. Uh, here we can see 5G uh, and our base station with massive antenna arrays uh, that can uh, generate and uh, uh, create different beams. Here we can see that uh, some narrow beams are focused to, uh, for example, uh, cameras with uh, uh, special equipment. Yeah, so we can uh, have a fixed uh, wireless access uh, providing that uh, technology to uh, surveillance cameras because such cameras uh, requires. Um, hundred of megabit per seconds or uh, we can focus uh, beam to um, CPE. CPE is um, customer premises premises equipment. It is um, a special equipment that can be mounted or on the roof so it can be roof mounted or it can be wall, uh, wall mounted or window mounted. So this is a special uh, box, a special um, equipment uh, with uh, antennas, uh, with advanced uh, hardware that can receive uh, information from a base station, from that narrow beams, yeah? And then um, provide uh, broadband access to uh, customers indoor for example like in this case or it can be uh, for um, surveillance cameras or for enterprise or for uh, houses uh, in a rural area so there are many cases so such a cpe equipment can be roof mounted wall mounted window mounted or indoor for example, located somewhere on your table, like a, like a pick a cell, for example, a solution. And of course, um, one of the most preferable case is when such CP is roof mounted, 
or at least wall uh, window mount a solution because uh, in, in this case uh, we can uh, narrow beam in a line of sight uh, and uh, so there is uh, th there is no any uh, path loss due to uh, wall penetration or uh, indoor penetration yeah only line of sight and uh, the direct um, the direct solution let's say so so one more time uh, the location of uh, customer premises equipment is uh, is a huge importance because uh, it should be located only in line of sight without uh, any um, obstacles uh, even for it actually it doesn't matter for millimeter waves uh, or for uh, c-band in most of the cases in most of the cases uh, even we can use an beamforming technology to narrow beam yeah in most of the cases if we are talking about fixed wireless access it should be um, with a line of sight with base station so such equipment should be straight to base station and uh, as you can see location is a huge importance and one more uh, benefit of such equipment this uh, this equipment can be larger in size and um, can be powered without any uh, batteries like a uh, cell phone yeah so uh, we can make such uh, cpe uh, with more uh, advanced hardware with more massive antenna arrays for receiving signal from base station yes um, with uh, some more processing uh, capabilities and um, this again uh, why uh, 5g nr uh, such equipment can be um, can be as a real solution for foreseeable future for uh, as one more motivation for a 5G uh, fast rollout for national operators uh, worldwide. So uh, let's look at uh, benefits and disadvantages of uh, fixed wireless access based on 5G and R. And the first advantage is uh, that uh, such technology is alternative solution to wireline to any Cox uh, or Cooper line or uh, fiber line. Uh, it is an alternative to a uh, current solution based on LT, Wi-Fi, uh, Vimax because uh, um, the technology roadmap isn't so bright uh, for such um, standards compared to 5G and R. Um, one more benefit that uh, 5G and R fixed wireless access is a, is a real solution, is a real business case, uh, and um, you can monetize it uh, as an operator as fast as you can. And as a result of it, it will be one more. Um, it will. It may be considered as a motivation for fast 5G rollout with all necessary features as beamforming, network slicing and uh, some uh, advanced base station uh, technologies. Uh, the first disadvantage is of course radio conditions because uh, uh, such solution should be deployed only in a line of sight and uh, there are of course uh, possibilities for shadowing for huge penetration loss especially for uh, millimeter waves but uh, such disadvantages is common for any uh, radio channel is uh, is common for any uh, radio solution so i believe that such um, antenna techniques as beamforming uh, can be very useful in order to uh, somehow uh, cope with that disadvantage. 
Uh, one more disadvantage is um, for early 5G uh, fixed wireless access deployment, for early stages of that technology, um, it will be debatable performance compared to current uh, technology because uh, um, not only uh, radio condition, uh, but also uh, there are some possibilities uh, to influence from mobile traffic. Um, and uh, for early 5G, I think there will not be so advanced uh, beamforming implementation to base station, yeah? Um, for early 5G, uh, probably network slicing uh, will be not end-to-end -end solution, yeah? So, um, in this case, for early uh, 5G fixed wireless access deployment, e uh, um, performance is debatable. I mean, uh, the throughput uh, for user or um, some influence from mobile traffic it is debatable, um, it, but of course, uh, with more uh, with more advanced techniques, with uh, more um, rollout of 5G and uh, other technologies, we can mitigate and this disadvantage. And one more disadvantage is. Um, radio resources and spectrum allocation for uh, operator because uh, not every operator will uh, manage uh, huge uh, spectrum resources that will enough for uh, fixed wireless access. Um, many operators will uh, have only for example millimeter, millimeter waves or, or opposite they will have some uh, license for um, using radio in in a low um, in a low band in some low bands yes so in this case uh, some sometimes sometimes for some operators it won't be enough to use uh, to deploy 5G fixed wireless access because such technology uh, require uh, large uh, radio resources and spectrum uh, resources for different deployment. So uh, it was my short lesson about 5G fixed wireless access. If you like uh, this basic video you can uh, like and subscribe and if you have any questions you can uh, send me your question uh, directly in the comments below or you can use your uh, uh, email to send me uh, your question with, and I'll try to answer any of your questions in uh, as fast as I can, actually. So, uh, stand by with IoT Understanding Channel. Goodbye.